Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to make put a jetpack on an excavator. It is time limited. Um, so if you want to do this, you probably want to have to do it soon. Uh, my friend um, my friend was uh, bought a, a jetpack on excavator for twenty thousand from <coughs> from someone's vendor and I thought I thought it was a glitch, but it looks like it's not. But it does look like it might be time limited because I know Bethesda doesn't like to have, uh, whatever reason, jetpacks on, on excavators for some reason, right? I guess because you know it has another use, which is mining ore and stuff, right? So <clears throat> that's the reason. But anyway, so let's just start it off with uh, what you need. So you're gonna need to get the Hellcat um, jet plat jet jetpack plan from either Samuel at the foundation or from Rakes at Vault uh, 79. So just to point it out, I'll, I'll see if I can pop over there by the end of the video, just show you there. So I actually had to go to Vault 79 to speak to Rakes because I don't I don't have enough reputation yet to go to Samuel. But I believe Samuel does actually sell it as well. So if you do have, when you finish your rep and you maxed out your rep, you can, you can probably go to Samuel if you don't have the jetpack plan. So. We'll pop over there at the end of the video and see if we can find it. Um, but I did actually buy it for 3,000 gold. So you will need 3,000 bullion. If you don't have 3,000 bullion, you're, probably, you're not going to be able to buy it. And you're not going to be able to do this. Uh, so you're going to have to ask somebody or buy some. Maybe one of your friends can, can uh, craft it for you. So let's go ahead. So the other material you're going to need is uh, five violet flux and five cobalt flux, right? So that's probably the most expensive part, but I'll show you that in a second. And just to kind of uh, talk about perks quickly, you probably want to uh, equip super duper if you haven't already. This will just allow you to, to make some more torsos. Uh, it might give you a chance to create some more torsos. Uh, and you probably want to equip power smith as well, right? <clears throat> so those are the two I'd probably recommend that you Equip, uh, if you don't have it, you don't have to, but it, it's up to you. So I'll put those on there, right? So anyway, let's go ahead and and equip this. Or craft it rather. Okay, we're gonna go into craft mode. Of course, you'll need to be able to craft uh, excavator. If you haven't done that, you'll need to go do the quest to do that. <coughs> so I won't get into that. Most people should be able to do that. Uh, you want to craft a X-ray torso. I wouldn't bother with level 25 and, and 35 unless you have a friend that does that. It'll be just a waste. And even then, if you have friends, I, it just seems if this is a time-limited thing, you're just wasting. No one really runs around with level 25 and 35 for very long until they're level 50, right? So I would just go ahead and craft a level 45 and keep it for your friends, right? So Okay, so we're going to go craft a, a, a level 45 torso. I'm going to switch to um, modify mode and then we're going to go into excavator and then we're going to go to no misc mod and you'll notice because I bought the plan from regs now I can actually equip a torso right so uh, I would probably do a bunch of these if you have enough flux as you can see on the right there um, you need five violet flux and five cobalt right which is Nowadays, you know, I don't see too many people um, nuking um, White Spring, which is really the area that you can get a lot of cobalt. Um, Violet's pretty easy because Prime gets nuked all the time. So you can make that relatively easy, I think. Or just go and buy it from a vendor or find somebody who has these flux. They're probably, compared to things, uh, other th cost of things, they're probably relatively inexpensive. And then you need some other you need some other materials like aluminum and nuclear material or besters, but all of those are pretty easy to find. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and make this. And you and these are tradable, right? So you can sell, like I said, my friend bought one for twenty thousand from somebody. Um, so you can trade these and sell these, uh, or you can just keep them as spares because if they, if it, if you can't make them all anymore, then they are gonna become rare or you know quite. Um, lucrative in terms of, of selling them right so okay so there we go we have a a jetpack on this as you can see and let's go ahead and make another one yeah and like I say you can transfer them out yeah so if we grab that
I'm just going to check if I have another torso. No, I don't. <coughs> Okay, go to craft mode, let's go down to excavator, no mist mod, put in a jetpack, and what we have a jetpack on on the next radar. I'm just going to dump that in my stash. And then let's go over to Vault 79 and let's see if we can see that plan that you need to buy. But it's, it's really that simple to actually craft. And as you can see, you can just store it into your into your stash box there. So I, would, I wouldn't say this is a glitch, this is just um, more of a, I guess, an oversight from Bethesda uh, to allow this, um, you know, like I said, I think once you've crafted it and put it on your excavator, you can keep it, they're not going to come back and take it away. It's not something that you went and duped or <clears throat> did something that the game didn't allow you to do. You went and bought the plan, you crafted it, nothing, nothing to me sounds or, or feels illegit about that. Uh, it's just more of an opportunity to do it and, you know, do it. I mean, they might they might actually just keep it, right? Um, they might allow it. Maybe it was intentional. I can't really say. But uh, just as a precaution, if you did want one um, for your excavator, I would go ahead and, and craft it, right? And keep it. Okay, so let's head over to, let's head over to Vault 79 here quick. So hopefully most of you guys have done the Waste Landers um, quest line. Again, you know, you, in order to get into Vault 79, you would have to do that and go through the quest line, um, get the gold. Um, you should get probably, I'm guessing, 1,500 gold out of that quest. I forget. Um, and then you would have probably have a bunch of gold by various giveaways and stuff for now. So most people should have about 3,000 if you haven't spent it. And of course, don't forget, for those that aren't familiar, you can go down, if you have extra caps, uh, go down to um, the Wayward uh, the wayward and you can buy 300 gold per week for 6,000 caps. Uh, that's a weekly reset uh, So if you've got a bunch of caps and you don't know what to do with it go buy some gold um, And of course, you know trading your treasury notes for gold as well, right? So Okay, that should be hopefully Most people should be doing that anyway, or at least understand how to do that Okay, so let's head up to to vault 79 yet But it's that simple. Just go to to craft, create a create a excavator torso. Go to Nomus mod and then add the jetpack once you've read the plan and have the plan for the Hellcat um, jetpack. Okay, so let's head down into Vault Seventy Nine here quick. So again, most people should be familiar with this if you've, if you've done the quest line. I just, I'm not showing you anything that people shouldn't know already. Okay, then find regs. And then you can trade him for gold. And you'll notice, like I said, I don't have max reputation uh, for my stuff. Um, but as you can see, he, he sells a whole whack of plans. Um, 
that you may not necessarily be able to get from Samuel. I know I can't. I'm, I've got very, I've got probably about ten plans I can actually buy from Samuel. But Rags will sell you a whole bunch of stuff um, that you can't necessarily get yet if you don't have a reputation. Uh, so you can just come over here and, like I said, you can buy the Hellcat. You can see I own it. Don't buy two of them. That gets really expensive, and you can't trade them as far as I know. So yeah, so that that's the plan you need. It's three thousand gold, um, and you know I believe the cost is the same from Samwell, unless you know I'm not sure you'll get if Mova gives it, sells these at some point and gets gives you that discount, but probably not worth waiting for, because like I said, it, it's likely going to be time limited to make this run. So anyway, hope you found it useful. If you did, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. It does help me a lot. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.